In this video, we will be discussing a motorized neck brace designed specifically for assisting ALS patients. We are Ben Nelson, Alyssa Prindeville, Will Stevens, and Liz Thorson. Our mentor is Dr. Zarmi. Before discussing the neck brace, it is important to understand why this project was sponsored in the first place. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a neuromuscular progressive degenerative disorder where nerve cells break down. This causes weakness of different muscles throughout the body, and the brain is eventually unable to initiate and control muscles. A common complication from ALS and the purpose for this project is dropped head syndrome. Dropped head syndrome is a disabling condition caused by muscle weakness in the neck extensor muscles. The condition leads to difficulty breathing, swallowing, and leads to substantial restrictions of movement. The result is a lower quality of life. To combat dropped head syndrome and improve quality of life of ALS patients, we have developed a prototype of a motorized neck brace. A previous senior design team designed and manufactured a semi-functional prototype. The prototype was a viable design that had potential. It utilized a drivetrain on either side to raise and lower the head along gear racks. The reason the previous design was only semi-functional is that it had an issue with the power transfer between motors and gears. With the gears being very small and the motors being cheap, there was not enough power generated to lift the head properly. While the design had potential, it was large, complicated, and uncomfortable. Our group decided to create a totally new design that is simple for the patient to use. Our group created six possible design concepts using different methods of power transfer to raise and lower the head. When choosing a design, the most important factors were safety, both in the operation of the brace and in case of malfunction. Also important were comfort, controllability, lifting capability, and size. The design features a 3D printed neck brace with additional components added to the base neck brace. Two linear actuators sit towards the front of the neck brace, slightly off center. The electronics sit at the front of the neck brace in a 3D printed housing. The linear actuators extend and retract to put pressure on the chin piece, which lifts and lowers the head. The linear actuators are connected to a dual pole, dual throw momentary control switch, which allows the head to be moved both up and down when the switch is depressed. The patient is able to easily access the switch from a seated position. Padding was used so that the electronic components and hardware components do not push on the patient's body and cause discomfort. Rechargeable 6 volt 2000 mAh batteries are used to power the neck brace for all day wearing. The battery only needs to be charged at night. Hard plastic straps are used to connect the pieces of the neck brace together. Originally, soft web strapping was used, but this did not provide stability. As you can see, the patient will be able to lift and lower their head at their fingertips. The cost for this prototype was $650. Future improvement would be to add a design feature that would allow patients to turn their head left and right, as well as up and down. The cost of the prototype can also be reduced by doing more cost-effective 3D printing. This was the highest cost of the prototype at $400. The size of the 3D printed neck piece can also be reduced to add additional comfort. Further. ALS affects people differently. Some people may not be able to use their hands to power the neck brace. Therefore, using a control that a patient could use with their feet or other forms of control would improve the lives of more people. We would like to extend a special thank you to Rob Saylor for 3D printing and to Dr. Zarmi for mentoring. Thank you.